Today I'm here to talk to you about violent video games and the relationship it has with violence in our youth of America. Before I begin, I'd like to pose a question. How many of you play video games? It's quite a few of you. Um, one thing you probably didn't know about video games is that laws have been struck down in America that would prohibit the selling of video games to children or minors. Just this last November, the U.S. Supreme Court heard a, state, heard a case arguing that um, arguing that uh, cal uh, the constitutionality of a California state law that would be enacted. If it was enacted, it would basically prohibit the selling of video games and make it a crime to sell video games to um, children. Uh, nor has this been the first attempt in America to limit the selling of video games. Uh, President Bill Clinton, in response to some of the school shootings, attempted to nationalize a similar piece of legislation during his presidency. And that brings me to my main proposition, which is that video games are a key contributing factor to youth violence in America. I'll support this with two secondary claims, the first being that video games have a high tendency to lead to aggressive behavior in youth, and that video games desensitize youth to violence. Um, I'd like to define two key terms before we begin, and the first is aggression, which is behavior intended to, limp, to harm another individual who is motivated to avoid that harm, and violence, which is extreme forms of, extreme forms of aggression, such as physical assault. All aggression all violence is aggression, but not all aggression is violence. I took these definitions from Anderson and Bushman, two psychologists, two professors of psychology at Iowa State University, and they are the definitions I will use throughout the speech. I will begin with my first claim, that video games lead to aggressive behavior in youth. Um, numerous studies find a link between violent video games and aggression. A meta-analytical review by Anderson and Bushman of Iowa State University support this. Um, and before I begin, I'd like to just say what a meta-analytical review is. It's basically a polling of a bunch of different studies on a particular topic, in this case, violent video games and aggression. And so I'd like to summarize those results. So they said they found that between 20 independent results and 20 independent tests involving 1,495 participants, children, adults, females, and males, in both experimental and non-experimental settings, they found that after playing video games, uh, these, these participants would have increased aggression, aggressive thoughts, and they also found that in 17 independent tests between violent video games and something called the aggressive effect, aggressive effect involving 1,151 participants, that um, that was the case. And what the aggressive effect is is feelings of anger or hostility. And since I'm arguing about the youth of America, in all of these studies, about 40, 46% of the participants were under the age of 18. Uh, moving on. Many school shootings involve students who play video games on a regular basis. Um, in an article in the postgazette.com by um, Laidman Jenny of Block News Alliance, she found that school shootings were that school shootings involve students who played violent video games on a regular basis. She then went on to list several, which I will summarize here. Two students who killed 12 in Littleton, Colorado. Um, we all know the Columbine massacre, which where. Um, the two uh, students were reported to play the video game, the violent video game Doom. Andrew Carneal killed three girls in Pudica, where he was reported to play two violent video games, Quake and Mortal Kombat. A similar school shooting occurred in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And in more recent events, um, at Virginia Tech, there was, uh, as you all know, a school shooting involving a student who was reported to play Counter-Strike. While school shootings do not represent a direct causal relationship between violence and video games, the statistics and examples are quite alarming and it should not just be simply ignored. And to support this, a 2000 FBI report labeled that the playing of violent video games is a key characteristic and a warning sign of um, violence in youth. Most of the popular video games on the market are violent ones. Um, according to a 2009 Entertainment Software Association uh, fact report, uh, they found that six out of 10 most popular video games in America in 2008 had an M rating. An M rating is basically meant for players 17 or older, however, there's no restriction on who can play them, and 68% um, of American households do play video games. With the overwhelming popularity of video games, it's easy to see that many of our youth are indeed playing violent video games. Uh, now that I've showed you that violent video games can lead to aggressive behavior in youth, I'd like to move on to my secondary claim, which is that video games desensitize youth to many violent acts. A somewhat startling revelation is that our own U.S. military releases video games to um, train and, well not train, excuse me, to um, try and recruit um, uh, young men to join the Army. Um, a CBS news article reports that U.S. Army, a video game, 
a online multiplayer shooter, was created to win over the hearts and minds of American teenagers, and it was reported as being the most effective campaign slogan since Be All That You Can Be. Now, the Army is a place where actual violence occurs, and by using video games to persuade our youth to join, it gives the impression that violence is okay and depicts it as a game. Um, uh, in addition to this, video games also present violence in a way that rewards players. According to the American Academy of Children and Adolescent Psychiatry, the most popular games emphasize negative themes and promote killing, and it cautions against the prolonged playing of video games can lead gamers to become immune or numb to the horror of violence and even imitate it. Now, it's not hard to believe that this is true, because even if, as I saw a lot of you did play video games, however, even if you didn't, you know that several of them include doing violent acts, such as killing people or blowing up aliens to complete objectives. Not to say that that isn't fun sometimes. Now, <laughs> studies show that patterns in the brain develop in a way to reduce one's sensitivity to violence. Uh, a study done by Bartholo, Bushman, and Sestier, all professors of psychology, found this to be true. They basically tested something in the, um, the P300 waves in the human brain, which is, which is the region where in your brain it, it, um, you have the most uh, brain activity when you, when you experience violence. And they found that video gamers were less likely to be, um, were, were to show less, uh, were to show less brain activity in that region. Um, So, I'd like to thank you for your time, and as I said, my, my main claim was that a video game, violent video games do lead to uh, violence and youth in America. I showed this by two supporting claims, the first being that violence leads to aggression in youth, and also that um, violent video games can desensitize youth to violence. Thank you very much. All right, Jasmine is next. That makes you number eight. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me stop for just a second.